Hello, I'm Dr. Joe McCord. Much has happened since the development and human testing of ProTandem began more than seven years ago. Back in 2005, ABC Primetime ran a story about ProTandem and the human trial then in progress that validated ProTandem's significance and effectiveness in reducing oxidative stress by increasing the body's production of two very important antioxidant enzymes called superoxide dismutase, or SOD, and catalase. We were very fortunate to have been noticed by the national media at that early stage in our development, but an enormous increase in the scientific understanding of ProTandem has occurred since then. There have been eight peer-reviewed studies published in mainstream medical journals six of which were funded completely independently of Life Vantage by agencies such as the American Heart Association and the National Institutes of Health. While initially we thought that ProTandem might have a positive impact on only two antioxidant enzymes, we now know that ProTandem is a powerful activator of a biochemical messenger protein called NRF2, NRF2, significantly modulating the expression of more than 1,000 so-called survival genes that enable our cells to cope not only with oxidative stress, but with other types of stress as well. In order to bring you up to date on what is arguably the most important supplement of our time, I'd like to share a few highlights by reviewing some of the major advances that have taken place in the science, including the peer-reviewed studies from a number of well-known universities. Let me point out to you, too, how, how dramatically things have changed. Protanum was developed primarily to affect three gene products, superoxide dismutase, or SOD, catalase, and glutathione peroxidase. And the literature, as of five years ago, led us to believe that this could happen, this would happen with protanum. And indeed, it did affect those three genes. What we've learned in the last five years is that it affects not only those 63 genes, but these 400 genes, all right? So three of those are SOD, catalase, and glutathione, have, or glutathione peroxidase. Have we realized that protandum does a lot more than that? You bet. We went from three genes to four or 500 genes that we're now talking about. There, there's an, a human exercise trial funded by the U.S. Navy at, uh, under, underway, and the armed forces, of course, are very interested in performance of soldiers under battle conditions and recovery times and, you know, how much damage is done if you have to just exert yourself over the top for, let's say, 15 minutes of intense exercise. So, so they're interested um, not only in the recovery, the damage, but this one is looking at mitochondria genesis. So there, there are things you can do that help your cells build more mitochondria, which means they can perform aerobically for longer periods of time. And so that's an interesting study. We now know protandem does more than just deal with oxidative stress to remedy that situation. It involves not just superoxide dismutase and catalase, the first two enzymes we focused on, but as I told you at Elite Academy last October, we now know that protandum modulates more than 600 genes. In fact, at higher doses, not used in humans, as many as 4,000 genes can be affected out of a total of 25,000 genes that we have. This is not a minor little tweak. This is a major readjustment of everything that makes you who you are and what you are.